Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Coming to you from Missouri. I know it's been a roller coaster of a week. You guys will probably want to know what's going on. All right. Yeah, thanks for joining me guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link below in the video description. Today, this weekend, uh, it's just me and Tater Tot this weekend. Going on a little road trip. The RV is not fixed yet. Still working on that. It's one of the things I've learned is that even with uh, all this insurance and everything and you're not at fault, it still takes some time. So Miranda is parked at my shop. Aunt Jill is taking care of uh, Opie and Tara for me because I think it would just be too stressful to take them across the country in the car real quick. And you're wondering what the heck I'm doing. Well, I'm going to wait until my next video to tell you exactly what I'm doing. In the meantime, we are just driving straight back west towards the state of Colorado right now. My hint is that 2022 is going to be a year of change here on the channel. However, going backwards a little bit, back to my roots, back to the way this channel started and what made me happy on the road. And that's all I'm gonna say for now. I got a lot of driving, but I won't bore you with that. I'll get back in tater top, put on some miles, catch up with you when we get parked. If you follow me on Patreon, you know exactly what's going on. Uh, I wanna thank everyone for all the awesome support and ideas with all the craziness going on right now. It has really helped me clear my mind actually and uh, make sure that I'm doing the right thing for me. Three hours later. All right, just in front of us here is Kansas City, Missouri, which means we're only a couple miles from the Kansas state line here. I have noticed, I mean, I will at least point out, it's a lot more, it's a lot more comfortable in the car compared to the bike, although I have a bigger smile on my face when I'm on Black Betty, my Harley. But, you know, I'm carrying all the gear. I've got climate control here. The seat's comfortable. I need to replace the seat on Black Betty soon for those longer trips. But yeah, next stop, Kansas. All right, made it to Topeka, Kansas. This is my digs, doing some, uh, some motel overnight stay. A little different for me. Give her a little swipey poo there. And let me turn a light on here. All right, for some reason I got two beds. Yeah, I booked this one uh, through Priceline actually, and it was $39, $39. It is usually like $75 a night just to park my RV on a piece of concrete in my own home. So, <laughs> not too bad, right? Plus, there's a pool and a hot tub that are open right now here in the spring. Right down, they're both indoor. I'm gonna turn this on, go across the street, get a six pack of Bud Light. Got my own coffee maker there. I got a microwave, a desk to do my work, which I do have work to do, and I can just jump from bed to bed. And I can't beat that, let's check out the bathroom. Oh yeah, unlimited hot water, take a bath. Oh man. Let me get settled, I got a few more things to bring in tonight, regroup, get the business taken care of, and then tomorrow we're going on the second part of the adventure. small pizza to a large. It's like, it's like my motel usual. I literally always get pizza when I stay in a motel, which is not really that often, but it's literally a staple. Casey's Pizza, if you don't know, you don't know. This stuff is ridiculous. I'm gonna throw it on the... Oh, it's freaking good. Uh, I was halfway through an email there, but I'll take care of that later. They upgraded my small to a large, because I need a large pizza. Oh my gosh, that's good. Oh my gosh. I'm in a good mood, guys.
I'm gonna eat some pizza and get some work done, and then you know where I'm going next. <laughs> you know. You know exactly where I'm going. Uh-huh. And alcohol allowed. That's what I'm talking about. How can you beat this? They don't even have hot tubs at all the campgrounds or V-bars. Mmm. All right, time for bed. Been using Nomad internet plugged into a USB port here. And without that, I wouldn't have any internet here on the road. It has really helped me. Motel coffee. All right, I'll down one cup, go take my shower, get back on the road. We've got seven hours and 42 minutes to go to get into Colorado. So, long ways to go. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much Kansas. I-70 West. All right, well, a little chilly this morning. I'm not gonna put on a hoodie right now. I'm here in uh, Abilene, Kansas, not Abilene, Texas. And uh, I was here maybe six years ago. We went to the Greyhound Hall of Fame, the old racing greyhounds. I want to check out this. Historic Old Town, Abilene Town, gunfighting town. Oh yeah, it has that old town feel, the Abilene and Smoky Valley Railroad Association. There's the Abilene train stop, and they got an old train here. I'm not sure if this one operates or does tours. Probably. Oh, the depot is actually called the Historic Rock Island Depot. And that looks pretty original. I'm pretty sure everything's closed. Oh, look, Western Union and Telegraph Cable Office. Well, the back gate was open, so we can... Oh, oh man. Wow, here's the jail. Oh my, really neat old western town. Look at all the old buildings over here. The cattle company. Look at the old wood boardwalk there, so you didn't have to walk in the mud. Oh man, pretty neat. You got the Merchants Hotel across the street there, and they're doing some work over at the Bull's Head Pavilion. And lastly, yeah, the Alamo Saloon. Let's take a quick little peek in here. Uh, a little closer, a little closer. There we go. <laughs> it worked perfectly. Very cool. Wow. Well, bummer. Yeah, unfortunately, Google says that it's temporarily closed. Not sure what's going on with it. They may only be open like in the summertime or something like that. But also one thing I've noticed as I've been driving through Kansas is that like a lot of the RV parks are advertising off the interstate that they are open four seasons. That's something a little unique. In a place like Kansas that gets really, really cold in the winter, uh, it's kind of unique because they would have to make sure that all the water lines don't freeze and stuff like that. But yeah, Abilene. Nice little stop here to uh, rest my legs, but it's time to get back on the road Put on some more miles today. All right, we're in Bunker Hill, Kansas now. And I wanna go up here because there was a Facebook post that showed something and you know what? I can already see it. So, this is new since we've last been here, although this is also retro. Let me park. Well, this is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I was here in 2014. Let me, let me flash a picture from 2014 what this corner looked like. And as you can see, it's unrecognizable as what it was in the 1930s. And since I've been back to Bunker Hill, uh, the society here, uh, the people here of Bunker Hill have brought it back to life like what it looked like back in the old days and restored this gas station. It is uh, still pretty windy out here, but they got the uh, Mercury police car here. 
from Bunker Hill. I love that flashing light on top of the hood there. There's even a, a uniform there. And uh, inside, hey, I see handcuffs. And if you look down in the dash, there's even a shield. Somebody's nameplate shield is down there in the uh, cup holder. Not sure if you can see that though. Pretty cool though. Man, that is a cool looking car. Really cool looking car. And original mobile gas pumps here. They haven't been completely restored. It's kind of, if you look closely, like I can see some, some paint issues, but I don't really care about all that. They, they, they fixed the building. They, they found the pumps that were original to this building. There's even an old telephone booth here that kind of matches. There's a, a businessman in there making a phone call. And then, uh, yeah, well, let's see. Let me see if I can peek in here into the store. Let's get close again. And yeah, okay. There's a register. There's some oil cans in the far back corner back there. Anyways, looks like lady there having some coffee. Pretty cool. Pretty neat old mobile gas restored gas station. And that's kind of the beauty of coming back to these places because they can completely change. I mean, they did a really good job with that. We are now 119 miles away from the Colorado border. I did get gas for $3.79 a gallon in Kansas. I'm loving it. Remember, I was paying close to $7 a gallon a couple weeks ago in California. And I got a little Kansas magnet for my car trip. It's metal. It's got some stuff from Kansas. Got the tornado emblem in there. Uh, didn't think I was going to get any magnets on this quick little trip. But we got to put on some more miles and get into Colorado. I'll let you know when we cross that state line. What's going on, guys? We made it. Welcome to Colorado. Colorful Colorado, the welcome sign. I still have to drive 130 miles into Colorado to get to the uh, Denver area, though. That's where I'm staying, and that's where my exciting business is. So we'll finish this ride. I'll get back to you once we get parked tonight. I expected the Rocky Mountains to be a little rockier than this. That John Denver's full of shit, man. All right, everybody, I'm checked into, well, another quality inn. This one here in Aurora, Colorado. Actually, we're basically in Denver. It says Denver's four miles west of here. So I think Aurora is just like another suburb, you know, right, right next to Denver. And Denver's where I have my business tomorrow. Um, this room's a little different. Uh, instead of $39.99 a night that I got in Topeka, this one, the cheapest for one bed was $71. So significantly more expensive and only one bed. Not that that, that, that matters to me. And they gave me the uh, top floor. Top floor of two. We got tater tot right there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, this is just, I'm going to close the doors and lock everything up, close the window. I'm just going to get, get some sleep. I got to set my alarm for 7 a.m. tomorrow to go do this. And I know I've been really vague about it. It's just, I don't want to count my chickens before I know for sure. I'm trying to make sure that it is what it is and everything checks out. So don't worry. In my very next video, I will tell you everything you need to know about what I'm doing in Denver, Colorado. Hopefully, let's all keep our fingers crossed. This is a good thing. Uh, if not, it was an adventure, <laughs> right? Okay, so, um, oh, since I'm up here in the Rockies, I did get some Coors Light brewed right here in Colorado. And uh, yeah, guys. Uh, oh, Jill sent me a message. Aunt Jill taking care of the kitties. She sent me some pictures. Here's the two kitties eating. She filled up their bowls, filled up their water. There's Opie. Oh, I miss his face. There's another picture of Opie. And Tara sitting on the top of the couch there. Jill said they were, they were very happy to see her. They don't seem stressed or anything. Um, they were happy to get some extra wet food. I miss those little buggers so much. Hopefully in my next video, we'll be getting back to the RV and checking in on those kitties. That's the plan. Uh, as for everything going on, you'll find out in the very next video, guys. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll find out a day early. Follow me on Patreon, you'll find out even earlier, earlier than a day. Now, those links are in the video description below this video. Uh, I'm going to call this one quits, get some shut-eye, guys. Got a, a, a very early morning.
All right. Bye, guys.